Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to my Getting Started in Beekeeping series for 2017. Last week you'll remember that we removed the super from the colony that we've got at the allotment and we've now brought it back home to the honey room where we're going to extract it. The honey room that I have is only three metres square and uh, we cram in quite a lot of uh, equipment into this space but it works really well and for the uh, number of colonies that I've got it's certainly adequate space to be able to extract on an apiary by apiary basis. There are of course lots of different ways that you can extract your honey. Uh, you can um, cut the comb out and crush it and drain it through strainers. You can just take the cappings off and allow the honey to drain from the frames. You can use hand turned extractors which come in a range of different types and sizes and then of course there are the electric extractors and that's what we've got here. Uh, we've got uh, in fact a brand new extractor uh, that I've recently purchased and we're going to extract our single super using this extractor and we'll show you the process and then at the end of it we'll have some honey in a bucket and then next week we'll go through the process of checking it for its water content and using a refractometer. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell symbol and that will give you notifications every time we upload a new video. And don't forget to pop over to our Facebook group, which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics. And we're well over 2,000 members of that group now, so that's good news. And there's lots of beekeepers there all helping each other with their beekeeping questions. So let's get on with extracting this super and the first thing we need to do is to take the cappings off the frames. We have our super inside this large um, stainless steel tank, it's called an appy melter and I'll perhaps do a video to show you how I use this but this is what I uncap all of my frames into. You can of course uncap into a simple tray so you don't need lots of equipment. I've checked all of the frames and they're all wired frames so we can't use any of them for cut comb so these will all be extracted and they all look really good they're well capped and I'm looking forward to extracting the honey from them. I always like to know how much in terms of weight of honey that I've extracted so to do this I step onto some scales with the super full and then I'll extract the super and then I'll step back onto the scales with it empty and subtract one from the other and that will give us the weight of the honey but also some of the wax that we inevitably cut off when we're uncapping the frames. So it's never exactly right but it gives us a rough guide as to how much honey we've extracted. So the first thing to do is for me to step on the scales with the full super and get the weight with it full. So all I use is a standard cold bread knife and literally just cut down the cappings close to the frame, tilt it forward and the cappings will fall away from the honey. And then turn the frame round and follow the same process down the other side. And there we've got one frame of honey that's ready to be extracted. All the cappings are off. If I turn it around, it's the same on both sides and that can now go into the extractor. I would normally use my right hand to cut, but because we don't have the room, I'm having to do it a bit back to front. But, uh, so we just gently cut off the cappings. One of these days I'm going to get a bar to put across this appy melter so that I can do this a little bit more effectively. But we just cut the cappings off. And that's ready to go into the extractor. So I'm now going to continue with all 10 frames. We'll get them 
uncapped and then we can get them all into the extractor and then we'll catch up just as we're about to start the extractor. They're now in the uh, electric extractor. This is a 20 frame extractor and we've only got the 10 frames to extract. We would normally fill all of the slots so that we've got 20 frames in here. Uh, but we want to extract this one super so that we can then take a sample and send it away for testing. And also we want to check the water content of this to show you uh, the water content of this particular super. So we'll have a quick look. The important thing when you've got um, an extractor that has more slots than frames that you're putting in is that you balance the frames around the extractor because if you put them all on one side the centrifugal force is going to cause the extractor to wobble and, and rock violently so you need to space them out evenly if you can. So we'll come down to the extractor and have a quick look at the frames set out in the extractor and then we'll pop the lid down and we'll start extracting. So here you can see that we've balanced the frames out so that we've got a gap in between each of the frames. So hopefully that's not going to cause too many problems when we extract. So we'll pop the lid down and uh, fire it up. Okay, so that's our super extracted. It's so easy with an electric extractor. And here we've got one of the frames that is completely extracted. Now these frames we would call wet frames and there is still some residual honey on this frame. But when we put it back into the super, we'll then take it back to the beehive from where it came and the bees will clean it up and remove all of the excess honey and take it down into the brood box. And these frames will then be called dry frames and we can then store them for the winter. What we need to do now is to just open up the tap and allow the honey to run through our double strainer. It will then go through into the bucket and we can keep it in the bucket ready to put into our settling tank and to jar it up. And this is our first crop of honey from our allotment beehive. And it works out at around 13.1 kilos of honey and wax which is approximately 28 29 pounds of honey and wax and so i would think we could probably say that there's around 25 pounds of honey maybe which is fantastic so we're going to let that drain and uh, then we'll use a refractometer to check to see uh, what the water content is. So that's our first extraction of honey from the allotment apiary and I'm really pleased that we've got a, a nice super of honey that we can now look forward to enjoying. I hope you found that interesting. Next week we'll take a look at the refractometer and how you can test the water content but until then thanks for watching.